The national left-wing media is trying to make way too much of President Trump's comments on Putin and Russian meddling in our election, as they usually do. While they continue to ignore the obvious Clinton issues, as does the special prosecutor and the FBI. But as former federal prosecutor Andrew McCarthy notes in National Review, Mueller is aggressively hunting down the Trump campaign. The Obama Justice Department, the FBI, the national media were ever so gentle and utterly disinterested last year in pursuing even the most obvious questions about Hillary Clinton, her campaign, and her foundation, and her emails. The fix was in from the very top and very early. Then President Obama, during an interview on Fox News Sunday, exonerated Hillary of any wrongdoing in her email scandal in April of 2016. Listen to the fixer in chief. I continue to believe that she has not jeopardized America's national security. Now, what I've also said is that, and she's acknowledged that there's there's a a carelessness in terms of managing emails that she has owned. Remember that word carelessness? It takes on a life suddenly in the Comey investigation and reappears conveniently. By the next month, Comey had actually drafted a letter exonerating Clinton before even interviewing her and before interviewing another dozen key witnesses. Comey also planned to accuse Clinton of acting grossly negligent in handling classified information. But after the fixer-in-chief insinuated himself into the matter, two months later, all of that changed. The language in particular changed, becoming extremely careless. As for the, what Andy McCarthy calls the scorched earth Mueller investigation, an Obama-appointed judge forcing an attorney representing Paul Manafort and Rick Gates to provide grand jury testimony against her own clients. Wow. Yet the Obama Justice Department and FBI gave Clinton's attorneys, Cheryl Mills and Heather Samuelson, along with other aides, immunity. Immunity. And others allowed to plead the fifth. And the Mueller scorched earth tactics by comparison? Well... Mueller ordered FBI agents with guns drawn to raid the home of Paul Manafort on an early morning back in July, despite his attorney saying he's cooperating with Mueller. There are similarities, however. The State Department under President Trump is still successfully stonewalling on Clinton's emails, just as it did under President Obama. Mueller now, in the sixth month of his investigation, the FBI launched its probe back in July of 2016. So now, so-called alleged collusion has been investigated by the special counsel and the FBI for three months short of two years. 21 months. Not a single piece of evidence found. And what about the congressional investigations? At least five congressional committees are now investigating Russian collusion with the Trump campaign. They found nothing. And the Senate Intelligence and House Intelligence Committees appear to be extraordinarily disinterested in what Russia may have actually done. What have they actually done? It appears they've compromised the NSA and led the establishment Republicans and Democrats on an almost two-year wild goose chase, making them the lapping stocks of the world of spies and intelligence. Intelligence a word that hardly seems right when used to describe our agencies and our Congress.